Hello everyone. Today I want to answer for you a question: Why do we need elasticity? So you can see in the screen in my computer here the question: Why do we need elasticity? So what is elasticity? First one, elasticity is a decentralized program which can help you the power infrastructure into millions of as of self sufficient micro grids and locally produced energy is available 24 per 7 and directly competitive to utilize and energy price becomes transparent to all people use elasticity opens technologies to make elasticity electricity virtually free so that we can electrify the world with clean energy yes so the next one we can see that the modern way of life depends on bus electric grids that power everything from light bus to mass transit subway so despite tremendous strides in technological innovation these existing grids are large, largely built on aging designs that is essentially a decentralized grid architecture fed by large power generation plants in remote lo uh, location that connected custom customer size through the complex libraries or transmission and distribution it is called T and D okay so I won't give you the information here this one is a transmission system so we can see that elasticity is this right enormous fans and uh, this one is green fan right so we can transfer it in monitoring and control substation and then distribute it in distribu uh, distribution system okay so the ios not only need to balance the electricity production and consumption in real time but also must ensure the electricity produced remotely is transported to customer size without running into congestions on the bus T and D network. So, the next one, while current electric power grids are amongst the most complex engineering system ever constructed by humanity, this centralized power grid design is starting to show its age. So today, centralized power grids face significant challenge in providing safe, so reliable, a secure and affordable energy services. Below are the example of just a few of ex uh, vesting exchange and challenges the existing uh, decentralized power grid face. So, how about how about the environmental problem and public health problem that we all need to face? So. I want to share with you an information like this. In California, in October 23rd, in 2015, the underground natural gas storage in Alistair Canyon in Los Angeles experienced, uh, experienced a massive leak. So this storage facility is the second largest natural gas storage facility of its kind in the United States and it supplies gas to electric power generation plants throughout Southern California. So the leak problem was so dry and it prompted the California Governor Jerry Brown to declare a state of emergencies on the, uh, on the 6th January in 2016. So, to put into this uh, perspective, this uh, represents an equivalent of roughly 12,800 years of the total annual emission of the entire South Coast air basin 
in Southern California. The power utility in Southern California implemented contingency plans in anticipation the natural gas shortages of powering the local gas-based electric plants. Meanwhile, the local residents reported headaches, nausea, and several not believe. So an average 50 children per day saw the school nurses for several nurse police. Right? So as these few sample attacks, the centralized risk posed increasingly a bread unbearable impacts to the to the environment and health and safety of the people that it's supposed to serve. So how about the solution and safety reliability problem. Okay, so natural or human induced accidents can occur at a vulnerable point anywhere across the complex centralized power grid that spawn over vast geographical areas. So the existing power with uh, abilities to guarantee safe and reliable energy services looks to be increasingly challenged. So the natural or human induced accidents are very popularity in this one. So how about the ad, uh, adaptability and resin resiliency? Okay, so you know that in 2018, more than 10,000 homes in Australia's second most popular state were stuck without power due to a surge in power demands from the scorching heat way uh, that overloaded the grid. So, in the foreseeable future of global climate change, so people and cities around the world are expected to experience growing incidents to grid failures due to adverse weather and furthering adding to this problem. So from his ways in Australia and California to frigid winter spells in the northern US to hurricanes, Katrina, Sandy, Rita or Maria, we witnessed repeated episodes of massive grid failures due to the system inability adapt or absorb the disruption brought about by the climate change induced event. So how about the unaffordable electricity costs? The study report the bottom 20% for earners spend about 10% of their income on electricity. So a few reasons for centralized grid high cost. The electricity are follows. Right? So you can uh, write this information in the website and medium of electricity. So in other words, because the real-time management of power demands at customer side is lacking, the centralized grid is a procure access and a generation capacity to stand by just in case they are needed. These capacity services are also costly and can add up to 50% of total bill. These examples are just a few of innate and costly inefficiency of the centralized AC power grid design. So that's the reason why we can we should create vibrant and sustained growth for this one. So the solution here, you can see that the foundation has collaborated with global organizations and local community to develop the Elancity model, a community-centric approach employed to address these challenges and decentralize new renewable energy resources to attend a safe, healthy, bright, vibrant, and equitable energy uh, future.
so the elasticity model builds upon four key pillars. The first one, decentralized renewable energy design architecture, which comprises first one a blockchain platform that provides an open, secure, and distributed ledger for its efficient record recording of energy transaction in the community in a verifiable and immutable manner. So the second one. You also can see in my screen, the second one is that they create a community-driven planning and implementation that warrants and the enduring success of the community transitions into the sustainable regenerative energy future. So, the third one, performance-based and self-funded Financing is critical in mobi mm, mobilizing private market uh, capital to fewer wide-scale adoption to decentralized renewable energy. Okay, so the next one, an equipped, uh, an equitable regulatory framework. So the potential market for the elasticity solution would be any areas that are being served by fossil fuel and nuclear power decentralized risks. So thank you for watching and see you the next time.